Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of today's special minis. Today I am coming to you with a process video. I'm not sure how if I'll be able to film all of this, but today or I definitely will film in stages. I am working on making a miniature bread machine or bread maker. So um, as usual, I just started making it. I made one before, but I'm I'm redoing it. Um, just because I, I think I can do a little bit better. So, I was already going to start doing it, but then I thought, okay, let's turn on the camera right from the beginning. So, here we have just the beginning pieces uh, that I made. So, this is going to be the top where you see through the bread maker. So, I just cut that out. This is one and a quarter by one and five eighths piece. And then the little window I just cut out uh, just eyeballed it and cut out a center piece then I had some recycled uh, plastic so I cut out a piece to fit in here and to overlap it a little bit then I painted it black and this will be the the uh, glass window then I took a piece of cardboard and I punched out a, a, a quarter inch hole and cut it in half and, and put two pieces of cardboard together. So these are going to be the side pieces that go on the machine like that. And uh, yeah, so I just painted this with a little black paint to make that window. And so this is going to be the top of the bread machine. Um, I also will be putting a little vent hole in the back right there. Uh, let me see, do I have a pen? Go off screen for a little bit. Just so you can see, it's going to be somewhere back right around in there just a little hole because uh, the bread maker that I have that I bought a long 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 time ago has a little little like vent hole in the back and so when I put all of that together I will come back and show you okay here here I'm back I wanted to show you something that I did I glued the little window in and before I did that I put a thin um, here's the double sided tape I put just a thin border of double sided tape around the window on the cardboard before gluing the plastic on just to give it that much more security um, so that it could stay down and then I took a piece of tape and ran a little bit over that over the length of the piece and and that would secure it even further so I just put a piece of uh, clear tape over the whole thing and then I'm using some aluminum foil to put it on the inside and then I, I put the uh, Fabri-Tac around the whole thing except for the window of course uh, so I put it around the whole thing then I put the aluminum foil on then I use my exacto knife to just gently cut out the window where there is no glue and then you just peel it up um, a little bit of this came off a little bit more than I wanted to on that little side because uh, I guess I ripped the aluminum foil too quick so be mindful of that you don't want any little gaps in your foil but of course you know the machines are silver on the inside so that's why I did that and then I put silver on the two side pieces so when I come back it'll be together and I'll show you what it looks like uh, with the, the whole lid put together okay hey everybody I'm back with a progress of report on this uh, this is a long time later I had finished before and started putting it together and then decided to scrap it and start afresh because 
um, the video I made before was showing you me using the materials that I had and I was using um, aluminum foil. I thought this was going to be a good fit for me. Uh, much cheaper than using paperboard or anything like that but this turned out to be a terrible idea because the aluminum foil while aluminum foil may be great it, it wasn't sticking. It kept peeling back up and that was annoying me so much like it went in the, the aluminum foil kept wrinkling and all this kind of stuff so what I decided to use instead which is a better alternative is this silver wrapping paper um, what ideally you want to use is mirror board but that can be like I said expensive um, even at like Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something like that like they might cost like a dollar or two dollars a sheet so I'm always looking for cheaper alternatives even though I like that uh, I'll show you the bread basket this is what I made before um, I'm just using it again in this one and this I made out of mirror board so I like it it's nice it's sturdy it's heavy but like I said I only had like a a little section or a little scrap of it left from whatever I used it from before so this was a better alternative and I have as you can see a big swatch of this silver wrapping paper but if you got mirror board go ahead and use it so this is the little bread basket and um, these are all the pieces that I'm going to assemble together so again I had to do it all over again and then once I did it all over again I did it in a totally different way than what I did before and uh, so this is going to be the inside uh, this is the base of the bread machine so this part of is going to go around like that I'm just showing you a quick mock-up this part is going to go over here and then there's uh, this little control panel situation that goes here on the side so that's how it's going to look put together this little knob uh, piece is going to be on the back and it's going to allow it to, to open and close and then this grate right here will go on the bottom so as you can see, I was starting to paint it already, but then I decided to to come back and show you before I paint it all. And this is the heating element. So this is the copper coil, copper heating coil. Uh, I mean copper heating uh, plate. And this is the heating coil. So it's going to go like that. And then this will fit on top of that and it does fit in and then I just printed out a variety of sizes of the control panel and I'm gonna see which one I like best to to put on here on the, uh, on the front of the control panel piece so when I come back I'll probably have this all painted and assembled and I also made a loaf of bread I wonder if I can find it somewhere um, I probably won't be able to find it but I just made that out of some uh, Crayola magic that little uh, putty clay type stuff that you get from the dollar store uh, from friendly dollar I got the white kind and I just added a little brown paint and then I took some um, all-purpose like all every everything in it I forgot what it's called I think it's called everything seasoning like something like you put on bagels or something and I just uh, ground up a little bit of it and mixed it in to make like whole grain bread or something like that so you can do that so when I come back I'll show you this put together and um, I can't I'm not sure how many videos I just deleted because I threw that stuff away but in one of them I was telling you it doesn't really uh, I'm not going to tell you the measurements that I'm using for this because this is going to be this is based on a, a bread machine that I actually have it's white but I in my dollhouse I, I want it to be blue so I'm just making mine blue and I just did mine based off the measurements of the actual bread machine that I have it's an old admiral and you, they probably don't even sell this model or make anymore so what I would suggest, instead of always asking people, like, what exact measurements, tell me this, tell me that, you know, just look online. There's pl plenty of places you can go online looking up bread machines. It'll give you dimensions. And then you just try to recreate 
what you see and that's what I try to do when I make my miniatures I just try to figure out okay how can I get it to look like that you're not building an exact model of something it's not gonna work it's not gonna you know you don't need it to be exactly like that thing just think how can I get it to look the most like that that will give me the same feel um, and look of the thing that I want um, here I also put a little plug on the back I think I'll paint this black and I just use some thin wire to make the the prongs of the plug I don't know if you can see that so this is a six foot cord I think that's pretty standard on appliances and yeah so this will be part of some of the things that I'm making for the kitchen I think I'm gonna make a toaster a microwave of course um, of course the fridge and a stove and all that but I'm just talking about appliances I think I may make a ninja machine and some grills and griddles a couple of other things so I'm just taking a tiny little break from the book series uh, but I will be making some more books. I got a set of encyclopedias that I'm making and I'll show you guys that too. So stay tuned and I'll show you the final version of this bread machine. Okay, this is the progress so far. It's on the precipice of being done. So I put the little uh, hinge piece on the back with some hot glue. Put a, a piece of a, a thicker piece of metal in there so that it opens and shuts as you can see the heating element and the the heating plate is in there and the tray it snaps on like in a real bread machine so it stays in there and the plug is there And all I have to do is I have to paint it first and then I can put this bottom plate on as well as the little feet and then I can put uh, this cover on so when I come back it will be all done done. <laughs> okay hey guys I'm back and this is the final product. Got paint and stuff all over my hands. Um, let me see if I can pull you in a little closer. So this is the bread machine, all painted. I put a couple of coats of um, glossy Mod Podge over it. I put the little uh, control panel on. So. I put a little green uh, rhinestone flat back so that um, I guess certain uh, ways the light hit it, it can look like it's on. And I did like a little ombre uh, painted the cord black. Put the bottom on with little feet little uh, seed beads and a little grate um, I used hot glue for this part but it, it kind of like uh, sp like splooged out too much uh, or squished out too much whatever you want to call it uh, that's okay though like I said this is from my dollhouse and uh, I hate this part with the aluminum foil but it is what it is. Next time I will just use the, the silver wrapping paper or um, mirror board. Just go ahead and not cut those corners because it looks terrible. And um, it just so wrinkly and it, it keeps like the edges keep coming up so it's annoying. Um, and this is just like a practice to um, Here's the bread basket like I showed you before. This one is the one I had from my original one that I made. Um, and as you can see, this one 
has aluminum foil on the the little thing and it keeps popping up but that's okay I can fix that later so you have your heating plate and your heating coil and this just plops on there like a real bread machine basket would and uh, real quick I couldn't find the other one I had but I used this model magic to make a quick loaf of bread it's not dry yet but just so you can see it in the uh, bread basket so and then of course we close it looks like there's bread baking It's not dry yet, so it's still kind of squishy. So I just I'm gonna leave it out till it dries. So that's that, and I showed you I made one before. This is the original. Uh, the what I liked it. I liked it. It was okay. It was super handmade. Uh, I even drew this part because I didn't have access to a printer at that time. So same green bead down here. Um, same heating plate and coils, but here's here's what I don't like so I made this one probably like a year or so ago and uh, I used I think um, maybe some crazy glue or something right there maybe let me see maybe it was hot glue but whatever it was that I used on this one this this was like some cheap hot glue stick or something and you see how it turned all yellow and discolored even on the back so I it feels like a glue stick I think this is one of those cheap glue sticks um, and even the color I don't know if you can tell on here it's like something stuck on there um, it's not um, white like it used to be it's kind of dingy white I don't know if you can see that. So I didn't I didn't like that. I don't know why it got dingy. And then this cord I used uh cuz I didn't have any thin uh thread at the time. I used some yarn. And so the cord is super thick. But I still liked it uh, for what it was. But I do think this one is still you know have a handmade look to it, but I think it's better. Uh, I think the window is bigger. It's, this one is smoother. Um, the curve, um, like I said, I don't. I'm not sure what happened with this paper, that it kind of like dented a little bit. Well, this one has tight, but it, it's not as pronounced as this one. But I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, this I think will look good in my kitchen when I finally make one. And like I said, this this um, is the original basket for this. Fits right in there. So I'm glad I didn't have to make another. I didn't want to make another one of these because I think I would have just been annoyed to have to make another one of those. But I really like it so let me know what you think of this uh, you can do different kinds of breads um, just using different spices and stuff for your kitchen but this will be great on any counter in any dollhouse so let me know what you think of it and if you make one I would love to see it got to be careful touching stuff too because you might get uh, dirt and stuff on it but there you go bread machine 2.0 with an ombre spray on it okay see you guys in the next video bye